I was comparing Rhino and Blender for the past couple of weeks and wanted to create this bench I saw. It was made by a YouTuber using Rhino. The original architect is Paul Coxedge and this piece is located in London. I know that Rhino is used a lot in the architectural and product design fields, but I think Blender can also be great for fast concept design. Didn't have to use Grasshopper or Geometry nodes so not difficult at all and didn't take long either to produce something visually pleasing and fairly non-destructive at the same time. Please subscribe and leave a like if you find my video helpful and let's begin. We're going to use a curve path so shift A to add it. Go to edit mode and shape it from the front view. Subdivide where necessary and use scale and move tools to your liking. Let's add an array modifier. I'm gonna go for 8 counts. Then add a simple deform modifier, change to bend, 360 degrees in the z-axis. If you don't like the shape, keep on tweaking until you're satisfied. I'm gonna add a plane and scale in edit mode, then convert it to curve. Select your arrayed curve and use this rectangle as your bevel object. You can always reshape the rectangle as well. Press Ctrl 2 for a subsurf. You can move the bench curve shape to make the circle bigger. All I have to do now is duplicate the curve two times and shape them in edit mode. As you can see, I didn't have to apply any of the modifiers so pretty non-destructive in my opinion. You always have to think about your objective when making something. Even if this were an actual architectural project, I would first sketch it out in Blender until I'm satisfied with the design, then use the appropriate software for a specific output. For anything else, all you need is Blender and that's why I think it's such a great program. Thanks for watching and see you soon guys.